Good evening, everybody. Crypto Strang here. This evening, I'm going to give an update on Icon, ICX. I haven't actually spoke about this project since basically last July 21. Okay, it's a project I've spoke very fondly about over the years. It's been around a long time now, Icon. Now, the last bull run, which ended 2018, we actually reached $16. And but this bull market, we only reached $3, which was a massive surprise. I spoke very fondly about this project with their development, what they're doing, it's about blockchain, etc. Even I done that video last year, I was outside the top 100, which was actually amazing to see. It's so low. I really thought this was a top 30 project. It just goes to show, you know, he reached all those all-time high back in 2018. We've had a massive, huge development since then. And this bull run, then he reached $3. just shows the competition, and there's no guarantee within crypto. So with Icon, though, some people might get a bit disillusioned with it. Might think it's not developing, but as you go through, you see they're actually the complete opposite. There's still massive development going on with the, within Icon ICX. You know, and it's, it's obviously built for longevity, it's around a long time. But you just got to stay focused on this. I do hold a nice bag of Icon. But when I've done that video there, you can see it was 87 cents. Okay, now obviously today when that market was 555 million, here we are now. 257 million with just over 28 cents because the market has dropped a lot since then. We're now around 107. Volume in the last 24 hours, 15 and a half million. So pretty good. Now, also the circulating supply tokenomics is actually fantastic. Basically, 19, sorry, sorry 919 and a half million circulating supply. And total supply is only just over 926 million. So, long term, the tokenomics is absolutely fantastic. Now, I say I really do believe in Icon. I say it's just a Really surprising where it is currently, but we'll go through it. Make your own mind up. It's never financial advice, as you know. Now, probably the biggest thing they've got going on at the moment is the blockchain transmission protocol (BTP). And talked about here when they gave a, a very thorough update in May about their new roadmap and what their plans are it's moving forward in the next few months. And there's a lot of stuff. The BTP product start doing parachains with Polkadot, you know, bridges to other blockchains. Absolutely fantastic what they're doing. So. Basically, to finalise the opportunity call service specification, also finalise the BTP block specification. So they're doing a lot of stuff. Now, the BTP integrations, now the fact they've made progress with that, Algorand, we implemented message transfers from Algorand to the Icon Relay without verification. Now, just to backtrack a bit, um, when Icon was coming out, it was basically in the Ethereum ERC20 token, but it was roughly halfway between 2018, they brought out their own Icon mainnet, their own blockchain. So then, obviously, all the transfers happen from ERC20 to the ICON network. So obviously on the native ICX. So since then, they're making huge progress. And because of what they had planned, also we spoke about in previous videos, we're talking very proactive within Asia, especially South Korea, where they've come from. The Seoul Metropolitan Government, the actual South Korean government, really proactive about blockchain cryptocurrency. So because they're based there, you really expect a massive pump. But also near protocol, we deployed a near BTP integration on testnet, but also the Icon Bridge Binance Smart Chain. We performed end-to-end -end testing for the BNP Smart Chain integration and resolved a few error cases. So the fact that we resolved them is fantastic. Harmony as well. They talked about June's focus was Icon 2.0, the submit the Vision 18 network proposal, maintenance work for Icon 2.3. Okay, but obviously they're still developing the BTP product, as we stated, and it's constantly going. But the fact they're linking now, and they've got these parachains and these bridges to other blockchains is absolutely fantastic. Okay, and I really think that is wonderful with this project. It shows the constant development. Now, Icon.community, the site you go on, there's a lot of stuff there. We talk about decentralized, fast, secure interoperability. Icon's blockchain transmission protocol, BTP, enables cross-chain communication between smart contract-enabled blockchains. The fact they've already done that, just see it there on the screen, start bridging your assets between Icon, Binance, Smart Train, Near Protocol, Moon River, and more with Nexus. It's great pro, pro, you know, progress, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, you say we're in a bear market at the moment, so we talk about the price, 28 cents. I said I've held a bag for Icon for God knows how long. Now, long term, I don't know what the market's going to do. I wouldn't be surprised if we dropped a bit more. Who knows? No one knows. You hear all these people talking about Bitcoin going at 10 going. Unfortunately, even here, halfway through 2022, the market's pretty much still govern what Bitcoin's doing, which is really sad to be honest. However, if Icon, you know, keeps going down and sort of Icon can actually get to like 15 cents, for example, or even 10 cents, who knows how bad the bear market will get, then I'll certainly get a lot more Icon. At the moment, 28 cents, still a fantastic price, long term in my opinion, but I'm just thinking, I just want to see how the market sort of carries on the next month, two months or so, and I think we could go slightly lower, and then I will certainly jump in. And get some more icon that is without doubt so it's also about 
all the different projects being all, built on Icon, the consistent payouts, no KYC, completely decentralized funding. Okay, this is great to see. But I also like this, you know, it talks about Icon is a place for everyone. Whether you're new to crypto or building a project, start exploring the Icon ecosystem today. You've also got the wallets. You've got the HANA wallet, which is like a Chrome extension. Um, you also do staking on there. You've got the Icon X, the original wallet developed by the Icon Foundation. And it's, again, it's also available as a Chrome extension. You know, we showed before we do the MetaMask, you add the Icon X to that and store your Icon there. Do you, you know, hold it on your own private wallet. I say it's on many exchanges. I say it's been around a long, long time. It's on a hell of a lot of exchanges, but just for example, Gate, KU Corn, Binance, um, Huobi, OKX, Bittrex, just to name a few. It's also got My Icon Wallet, which was developed by a company called Reliant Node. And My Icon Wallet is actually a mobile wallet, and it's available on the iPhone and Android. It basically allows users to access Icon dApps, keep up to date what validators are working on. So again, you have many options to have your own private wallets with Icon. But the Chrome extensions, what I do, the Icon X, very easy to use. And it talks there about the different parts. Now, the stake, again, showed this website before, icxstaker.io. You can see there, the most simple icon and ward and staking calculator you will find out is here, basically, iconists. So staked, 42% staked. It talks there. So it also gives you a calculator. For example, if you just wanted to put in, say, let's say you had 1,000 icon. Now, all you do is you basically put in your 1,000. You just calculate it. And it'll give you there. So daily, you're going to earn 0.34 icon, weekly, monthly, and yearly figures. Yearly, you'd earn 124. Not fantastic, but say this project's been around a long time. It's not like it's a new project offering crazy APY. Okay, you've got a thing that's been around a long, long time. So this is what I like. I like the fact they're constantly updating on their Twitter. Very active, also on Medium. This post actually June the 22nd, weekly crypto news for icon fire users. Speak there about all the stuff that's going on. And say there, that near foundation launched a smart contract audit program, and it's a staking coin in the Icon Fire. So Icon Fire is another part of the Icon ecosystem, what they're using. States there, Icon Fire is a digital asset savings platform that provides simple, intuitive earned products so anyone can easily multiply crypto assets. Icon Fire aims to simplify the complicated processes to make it easy for everyone basically to get started. That's what we want. Makes it very, very simple. So again. When we spoke about the Soul Watch the government as well as the um, South Korean government, states here South Crypto, South Korean presidency, the new guy, Yoon Kuk Soko, wins the South Korean presidency and ICX surged 60%. That was a couple of months ago. Okay, now this guy is very proactive blockchain and cryptocurrency. And just when he got in, because he's pro that, ICX went up 60% a couple of months ago. Okay, now this guy's actually won. Okay, now this is great to see when you get a president who's actually pro blockchain and crypto. States there, cryptocurrency played a leading role in the South Korea's election debate, with both candidates releasing campaign-related NFTs. <laughs> Great to see. Talk about moving forward. And speaking of virtual asset forum in January, Yoon promised to deregulate South Korea's crypto industry, establishing his forward-thinking stance on digital assets. Continuing his plans for crypto-positive developments pending his election, Yoon stated he wished to help create blockchain tech-related unicorns, which are startups that will go to worth one billion more in South Korea. This guy is extremely proactive. No wonder Icon had such a pump at the time. This is great to see. South Korean President Candidate, there's a tweet there, visited the Icon Loop office. Now, he spoke about Icon Loop a lot. As the Korea Start Forum held its heavily te televised startup policy talk, Yoon Seok Rao went on to mint his signature as an NFT. Okay, this is great. So the President was actually went to Icon Loop. Okay, he was the candidate at the time they'd done this. He's actually got the President now, okay? So South Korea is a real hub for blockchain and cryptocurrency. So long term, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, another part, again, since I last done a video, ICE is an extension network, an EVM compatible application hub of the ICON ecosystem built with Substrate SDK. An extension of ICON. ICE aims to become a crowd loan funded Polkadot parachain that serves as an extension network and application hub for the ICON ecosystem. ICE is the first network to use the Substrate SDK to extend the features of existing layer one blockchain. Again, progression all the time. And it states there like the gateway to Polkadot. So all these blockchain companies are getting help with and bridges and the power chains. It's absolutely fantastic. But just the Polkadot alone, as that develops, you can see massive potential here. Okay, and I really do like the fact they're constantly building. I spoke before, say about the MyID Alliance, the Icon Loop, the Icon Bet, etc. Now they've got this, the ICE. Okay. 
an extra part of their ecosystem. ISIS connected the world's most innovative blockchains. You see there, even when I mentioned already, Kusama. Okay, and it's just all massive, massive companies. Okay, and let's just scroll through. It's absolutely fantastic. It's all about ICY, which is the token, but also you need to scroll to the top. Now, actually, let's quickly show their tweet. States there, June the 23rd, they're talking about what they're doing. Basically, Rock Arctic testing it, release list on Polkadot.js app. So this parachain with Polkadot, I really think that's quite defining, actually. Out of all the news the last couple of months, the fact they've got this parachain with Polkadot is absolutely huge. They even give their how to get started with a Polkadot.js wallet, a quick setup guide. I think that really is fascinating. But when you scroll back to this ice, they've also got Snow. Welcome to Snow. It's the community-governed canary network to ice. So between IC and Snow, IC being the token, they've also got Snow, which is the ICZ token. Snow is a community governed network. All ICZ token incentives go to airdrop recipients and crown lenders. Now basically what they did, they did a screenshot of people on the Icon network last, I think it was last November, and from that you got an airdrop. But long term, these tokens have a lot of potential. Okay, now Infinity Shop Rewards says then Snow is optimized for Icon's BTP. This position Snow is a potential flagship chain within the Kusama ecosystem. That showcase industry leading cross chain applications all powered by Icon's BTP. So, this one, talk about snow, is all to do with the back Sama, where ice is more about the polka dot power chains. But I say they've got them bridges to Binance, Smart Train, etc. So, again, fascinating to see how these two develop. I really do think it's absolutely fantastic what they're planning. So, when you scroll back, see Icon ranked 107, just say 28 cents. Okay, there's massive potential. It's never financial advice, and I'll state that many times. It's very important to believe that. Disappointed last ball run, as I've already said. However, long term, they're still developed massively. Now, the polka dot, Kusama, the Moon River, Algorand, Binance Smart Chain, the Bridges, Parachains, who knows where this would go. And now you've got a president of South Korea extremely bullish about crypto in general. Again, should take Icon to the next level. So, who knows where the market's going to go in the next few months? Don't know. It's so baffling to everyone. Many people guessing that Bitcoin's going to go lower and stuff's with the market. Some people say Bitcoin will start to go up again soon. So it's all just guesswork, let's be honest. Who knows? We need that massive news. And then you're another bull run. But who knows? Will it be the next Bitcoin halving? I don't know. And as I say, I'm never going to make a prediction. But say, with Icon, me personally, if it goes low than 15 cents, for example, I'll be getting a real big bag of this. But I'm not saying that 28 cents is not a good price. But I say you must do your own research. So thanks very much. And I've spoken about Icon many times, but I say it's been a year since I've done my last video. So I've given an update. I need to do many, many other updates for many other projects we speak about often. So thanks very much. As usual, if anyone help, you email me, shall I say, yeah. info at cryptostrain.com or my social media links below. Don't hesitate to reach out. Help any way I can. Thanks very much. Have a wonderful evening. Cheers now. Bye.